Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. <coughs> Blimey, Riley. Mailbag. Whew. Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, hello. Whew, size of this. You guys are going nuts at the minute sending me stuff and I'm loving it. I'm loving every minute of it. It's kind of getting a bit insane, but it's fantastic. A package has arrived. Didn't expect this. Um, it, I just went out to go to the car and there was a huge box in the porch and it weighs a significant amount. Now, I think I might know who it's from. I think I might know who it's from. I've got a couple of things on the way to me that I know about, so I'm assuming this is something from a particular person. But we'll find out in a minute. The only thing that makes me nervous, it's come from Kildare, which I think is in Ireland. I think I know who it's from, but here it says fragile Jar Jar cosplay inside. Now I'm really afraid. So let's get this thing open. Let me just free my microphone cable. There we go. Getting tied up by myself. So with myself, for myself, I don't know. I'm just making it up. Let's uh, see where we can start, shall we? Yes, this thing does weigh a ton. Uh, oh, update for you. Update, update. All the stickers and prizes. Yes, yours as well, Lynn. Uh, all the stickers and prizes have gone out today. That includes Lynn and Ray, because you asked me for some. Ray and Malta, you've got some on the way. So all the prizes and stuff have now gone out. I've mailed. I've got the wrong end, haven't I? Oh, hang on. <laughs> I've got the, I forgot what I was going to say now, it just, just, just tired me out that. Um, no, I forgot what I'm going to say. All the prizes have gone out, except the green pot noodle mug. These are all the prizes from the Sunday live streams, because I haven't yet heard from the winner of the green pot noodle mug. So that's not gone anywhere at the moment. It's just sitting there. How's this going to, how is this, how would the, what? going in the old-fashioned way oh, I can't see where the join is so I'm just gonna just gonna have at it I don't ow bang my head I don't think I'll be able to reuse this box <laughs> right I got a glimpse of treats in there then see if there's a note first right let's have a look there's a note so I'll go for that first before I have a look inside it's a big long note <sighs> now it is from Simon O'Callaghan in the island let's see what he's written he says Akara Fox I was into Lego particularly Star Wars Lego as you will know the Holy Grail kit from Lego is the Millennium Falcon at a massive bazillion piece set that has all the greebles and such well, while trawling the YouTubes for something to watch, I came across Tested. Tested had done a build series on the Falcon and a build-off with the Death Star and the Star Destroyer. Will and Norm at their best. If you haven't seen it, find YouTube, uh, find Tested on YouTube or just go to Tested.com. They have like a 10 or 11 part build series where it's Will and Norm building a Super Star Destroyer and the Death Star kits, each building one. And it's like a race and they have various impediments to their building. And the ending is just, it's just, you have to watch for the ending. Go and watch it. Uh, well, this led me to their perfect grade build, but alas, it was only one video. But wait, what's this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Some guy calling himself a guru when he's building a strike Gundam? Worth a watch? Well, that went dead high then. <clears throat> Worth a watch. That was two years ago, and I've now five Gumpler builds and two resin builds under my belt. My first resin was the Mercer Kshatriya, shakes head itself. Yes, I built Airfix kits as a lad and progressed to 40k and also Tamiya shiny bikes, but they aren't Gumpler. No, they're not. It hasn't stopped me though, oh no. I discover the eModels livestream and the Boomhut. Will the awesomeness ever end? There are many question marks. 
I have a 20 kit stash that says it won't for a good while. Thanks for everything, Fox. You've taught me a ton, entertained me more, and kept me sane at four in the morning when my baby daughter won't sleep. I have included it in the shabbity box. I love this. It is a shabbity box. I love it. It's just, I love that word, shabbity. I have included in the shabbity box the decals for the Kshatriya and Strike Rouge that I had left. He actually contacted me a few months ago to say, I've got some decals for the Kshatriya because I've got the HG Kshat. And I'll send them to you. I've only used a few. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant. And then he completely forgot, which is the kind of thing I do. Um, so he just messaged me recently. He said, oh, crap, I forgot to send you them decals. I'll send them now and I'll put some other stuff in there. Uh, uh, a couple of treats for yourself and an unusual kit for your wheel of giveaways. Ooh, cool. This is no less an Irish care hamper with some Irish noms and tipple. I like the sound of that. Don't forget about Fox's mum. There's a few treats for her too. If there's two things the Irish make well, it's a pint and a grand cup of tea. Don't worry, I know you don't like tea. As I used to say every day, uh, I'm not even going to try. I don't even know if you can see it because of the lighting, but I'm not even going to try. But I'll, yes, thank you very much. I I'll assume it's something good and not rude. If it's rude, eh, whatever, even better. Enjoy and thanks, Simon. Awesome. Awesome, Simon. Thank you so much. Let's, hmm, let's get this enormous. This is a really big box for some decals. Let's crack this open and see what's in there. I'll give you a quick look. Oh, oh there's going to be a lot in here. I think I'm going to have to put this down on the floor and go through them one by one. This may even be bigger than the other unboxing I did the other day that took like 45 minutes. Oh, oh, oh. Right, let me go and move the camera, move this, and we'll have a look and see. Kermit, flail hands. Okie dokie, that's better. Right, let's go through this box and see what goodies we have. There's quite a lot in here. Yeah, yeah, there's a significant amount in here. Ugh. Right. First of all, what's that? That's bubble wrap. Yes, Irish bubble wrap. Oh, oh, yeah, gotta do it, gotta do it. Oh my life, look at all this, oh God. Right, first thing we've got is a packet of, I can't, I can't not, I can't, Potato, potato, pack of potato variety, six pack of the original Irish crisps. Two cheese and onion, awesome. Two salt and vinegar, eat mum can have them. Two smoky bacon, oh, yes. Made with 100% sunflower oil. What, there's no potato in there? You might want to rephrase that. There might be some potato in these. Awesome. Critter country. Ooh, the Corsac Fox. I like the look of the Corsac Fox and the white-lipped peccary. Critter Country, let's have a look. Critter Country in Tato Park is full of exotic creatures like my industrious meerkats. Famed for their upright posture, they keep a watchful eye of all the animo, animo? I've gone French. Toutes les animaux. All the animals, I don't know why I went French. All the animals in Tato Plains. Baby, baby meerkats. Awesome, crisps. They won't last more than about five minutes. Now we have. Oh. He did say it was an Irish care package. We have some. Oh, Keo's grown with love in Ireland. Shamrock and sour cream. Deliciously fresh Irish potato crisps. Oh. Now that, I'm gonna get all up in the business of that. The Keo family believe that good things come from mother nature and that this is why we have been working the land growing delicious Irish potatoes for over 200 years. We are now hand cooking Ireland's finest crisps in small batches on our farm, from crop to crisp, grown and cooked with love in Ireland. And they've got a capital L on love. During harvest, we pick our potatoes and turn them into fresh crisps on the same day, delicious. We hand cook our crisps in small batches using the finest, I don't know why they've got like a posh English accent. Using the finest quality sunflower oil, which is high in mono in saturates and naturally cholesterol free, gluten free, GMO and MSG free. <gasps> Spudnav. Trace your crisps back to the field they came from. Just type in the field name on the Spudnav page of our website. <laughs> field. Malahide. Variety. Lady Claire. Cooked by Renata. Good Irish name. Renata. Best before. There we go. Awesome. So these were made. These were grown in Malahide. <gasps> 
I'm going to enjoy them. I think I shall have them tonight when I'm watching something on telly. <gasps> awesome. We have a box of Barry's tea. But it's not Barry's tea. It's mum's tea. This will do mum quite nicely. She likes her tea. Expertly blended in Ireland. This is really is an Irish care pack. This is awesome. Expertly blended in Ireland. Our most loved signature blend. To make the perfect cup of Barry's tea, our master blender recommends one bag per cup and to always use fresh boiling water. Allowed to brew for three to five minutes depending on how strong you like your tea. For the perfect pot of tea, don't forget to warm the teapot and then follow the same ritual. Couldn't read that. Allowing one tea bag per person and one for the teapot. I don't know, I've gone all Jeremy Clark, so I'm going all kind of like bizarre radio voices now. We have, oh, here is some awesomeness. We have the promised awesomeness. I've got, funny thing is, I've got a ton of bags that look just like this. We have Ted decals. Ooh. We have Ted decals. He sent me loads. This isn't just for the Kshatriya. Excellent. So I've got a load for the Kshatriya. Nice. Nice. I've got some more for the Kshatriya. Excellent. That's brilliant because I don't know what colour I'm doing it yet. So I might need white or I might need grey. I don't know. How can we find out? We have some. Uh, Archangel Anomaly. That's for the striker. We have some. That's the Strike Rouge because it's got the Autori decal. That's going to be handy. Thank you very much for those. We have uh, Strike Rouge RM. Oh, this is for the Autori as well. Brilliant. Fantastic. More for the Strike Rouge. So, Jordan, these are for your model, mate. Uh, and then we had a load of Iron Blooded Orphans. We have some uh, decals for grazes and the. I've forgotten. The, it's been a while since I watched it, so I've forgotten all the names. The I forgot what the organisation is called. It's their their symbol. Awesome, because I need to do a, some IBO kits. I need to do a graze at some point, or a Barbitos, 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 Bar Bar Barbitos, Barbie toes. And then I think these are. Oh, these are for the Camaris troop. Oh, cool. These are Camaris decals. I think these are Gallahorn. Maybe I can't quite see because they're white on very light blue. I'll have to have a proper look. And I can't say Camaris Trooper without hearing Todd from Gumpler TV going, Camaris Trooper. I like Todd. Todd's awesome. So, fantastic. Some good, good decals. Lots for my Kshatriya. Because, of course, I haven't actually got around to getting any for the Kshatriya yet, I don't think. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. And I don't know what colour I'm doing it yet. So, who can say what it's going to come out like? So, thank you very much for those. I shall put those in my... Well, I put the key, uh, the Kshatriya ones in the Kshatriya box, obvs, because I'll be doing the Kshatriya when I finish the Strike Rouge Oatori. Big bird in Japanese. Big bird! Uh, when I finish that for Jordan, that'll be going off to him, and then the next build is up to me, and I will be doing the HG Kshatriya. I don't know what this means. I'm trying to symbolise all the all the th binders, but I don't... Decals. So I'll put them there, out of the way. I don't want to get them squished. What do we have now? Oh, I've seen something in here you'll like. We have... We have some Lily O'Brien. I won't, I won't do an accent. I'm not going to do an Irish. No, I'm going to offend somebody if I try and do an Irish accent. I, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> My Irish accent is terrible. It's just a, I can I can do quotes from Father Ted, and that's about it. Uh, Lily O'Brien's irresistibly. If I, if I do an Irish accent, I'll get told off by some. I thought I did a great Irish accent until a colleague I used to work with many years ago, who was um, from Ireland, said, "You do know that's like the worst Irish accent ever," and I'm like. I thought it was rather good. He went, no, it's just terrible. Don't ever do it again. So, yes, I won't. Lily O'Brien's Irresistibly Milk, Orange and Bergamo Ganache. I don't know what ganache is. I've heard of Bergamo. I don't know what it is, though. And I, I want to eat this now. Snap the creamy milk chocolate shell to release an intensely dark, fragrant orange ganache with a citrus twist of Bergamo. Or Bergamot. Bergamot? Bergamo. I can't wait for you to tear open this wrapper and start the latest chapter of the Lily O'Brien story, a range of mouth-watering bars created so you can enjoy your favourite treat anywhere. Because normal chocolate you can't enjoy anywhere. This, you can enjoy this on the go, unlike other chocolate products. That looks fantastic. I need to 
Mm, I might pull it now. I'm going to leave that. We'll try that later. Thank you. There's tons of stuff in here. There's, oh, we have. Oh, mum's going to like this a lot. We have some more tea. Lion's original smooth blend. Oh, uh, I can't read because the thing it says in night. I like reading all these nonsense things. Let's take this off because I can't read it. There we go. I'm open. Look at this. I've broken a law. I've opened tea. You've watched me open tea. Something happened. My computer just made a noise. Oh, it's protecting me against viruses. Uh, it says, in 1902, the Lyons family started blending tea at High Street in Dublin, right in the shadows of Christchurch Cathedral. The Lyons family was committed to creating the best quality tea using only the finest leaves blended to ensure just the right flavour when brewed using the unique limestone water of Ireland. A cup of, bleh, a cup of satisfaction every time. You can't drink this, Mum, because we haven't got the unique limestone of Ireland, so we'll just have to try and find some. Look at that. So the mum will like that as well. I don't actually, I know I go on about coffee and tea. I don't actually hate tea. I will occasionally drink it. If, if it, somebody says, I've only got tea, I'll have tea, I'm quite happy. I'll just put a whole load of sugars in it. But I don't mind tea, it's just I prefer coffee. I just like, it's comedy value. I, I say I'm allergic to tea. There is some lemon bonbons from Atlo and Sweets. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna get anywhere near these. I'm not even going to get a chance to, these, these are going to be gone in about five minutes when I take these downstairs to mum. She'll be like, oh, look at them. Gone. I'll just, mm. Napoleon Bon Bonaparte, like, remember them? They're not anything like that, but oh, yeah, I like bonbons. Awesome. Now there are some hard, solid objects in here. I shall move these out of the way because you can make a prediction now. It's an Irish care package. There's one thing you can kind of be guaranteed that I'm going to find in here. So I'll come to that last. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, 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 well. I've just seen something else as well. <laughs> there's, there's some brilliant stuff in here. We have some Lily O'Brien's desserts collection. Look at that. Oh, that's a Games Workshop texture. <laughs> Uh, like most people, my fondest childhood memories are a sprinkle with sunny days, smiling faces and chocolate. But chocolate became an all-consuming passion in 1992 when I discovered the art of chocolate making. From the beginning, it was all about amazing taste, delicious ingredients and creating mouth-watering recipes to share with my family and friends. And from there, the seed of a business, Lily O'Brien's, began to grow. You think I'd be old? I think it sounds like I'm auditioning for like some kind of voiceover work. Maybe I am. Hey, if you want to offer me some voiceover work, I'll, I'll take the money. I'll quite happily. It's one of my dreams to do voiceover. I don't know why. I've got the stupidest voice in the world, and I talk too fast. I'd love to do voiceover work. I've done. I've done a little bit for like somebody years ago for a Halo Machinima, but it wasn't very good. We have. What have we got here? We have. Oh, little things. We have some little, th tiny little fellas. We have some. Ooh. Mint crisp macaroon, macaroon. Mrs. Overall would be proud. Some Wilton candy, macaroon and mint crisp. I've never actually had macaroon. I know what macaroon is. I've just never actually had it. Now the thing is, I would try. I know because in the last one I did lots of little tests while I was on the screen, and but this thing's that's really chewy and oh no, it's not. Right, we're going in. We're doing macaroon. I've never tasted macaroon. I know what mint tastes like. We're going in. Meh, meh, meh. Smells like. Oh, it smells like. It smells a bit like. Oh, caramac almost. But I'm getting flashbacks that I haven't smelled that smell. That really sort of. Oh, my mouth is watering like a broken dam. I haven't smelled that exact chocolate smell since I was a kid in the 1970s, and I can't place it. There was some kind of bar that had. It was just solid chocolate. And it had a ridge around the edge and i think it had like a sculpted design on it it's not the one with the frog in it not that thing with the frog not freddy frog or whatever it was something else it was like that it had like a... i'm going in mm. Mm. oh that is nice fail that is nice i'm gonna have to eat it all now look see Forced me to eat it. Oh, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the state of this desk. Uh, I'm just eating off that. True test of coffee of uh, chocolate. Mix it with coffee. Mm. 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 That was delicious, and that has just transported me back. I'm in my teeth now. That has just transported me back to my childhood. Not that I've had Wilton candy macaroon before, but something very similar, and I don't know what it was. It took me 15 years to remember what pacers were called, so in about 15 years I'll remember and I'll let you know. <sighs> oh, apologies, knocking the camera there. Next up we have... Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. We have some elite chocolate Kimberleys. Oh. <laughs> to me, the word Kimberly is kind of a real... I don't know, it just make, reminds me of Hull, like, Kimberly, Kimberly, it's me, it's me little girl, Kimberly, she's been digging up the garden again and she's shat on the dog and, uh, Jacob's Elite Kimberly, I've never heard of these before, I'm gonna guess, this is maybe specific to Ireland, maybe, chocolate Kimberleys, they are, milk chocolate covered mallow cakes, these are going to be a bit like Tunnock's things, the, the, not the, the brown, the tea cakes, I bet. I'm going to put it to the test. I've got to find out. This is for science. This is for the science. Oh, they've packed them upside down. Chocolate Kimberly, let's find out. Mmm. Mmm. We have a smell like, ooh, 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 they smell like ginger nuts. Interesting, let's try a, try a taste. Mmm, 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 Well, uh, that sucked all the moisture out of my mouth. Woo! It's like a Tunnock's tea cake, but stodgier, thicker, without the fluffy stuff, and with ginger. Really nice. Oh, they're nice. Mm. I'm sorry I don't get them over here. They must be just specific to Ireland, maybe. Yeah, uh, what's next? We have... Oh, I say, this is, this is for me, this one. Mum, this is not for you. We have some. Bewley's Rich Roast Strong. Fresh ground coffee, dark roast with a rich fruity flavour and velvety consistency. <gasps> ground for filter and cafetiere. Since Speedy Q8 sent me that coffee, I do proper coffee now, proper cafetiere coffee, so this is gonna go really nicely. <gasps> An intensely dark roast for a maximum coffee, ex maximum coffee experience. The blend originated in our Grafton Street Cafe and is enjoyed for its distinctly fruity flavour and heavy body. I knew a girl like that once. That's going to go down very nicely. I shall enjoy that later. That'll be my after dinner coffee, thank you. Now there are two awesome things in here. There's also... There's also... We have... I'm not sure if this relates to anything, but we have a stand which looks exactly like the one I've got in my Straight Rouge. But I do need a spare um, Master Grade dingly dangly stand while I'm working on stuff. Perfect. Awesome, thank you. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in there relating to that. We'll find out. Now, I've this package here. What is this shenanigans? Let's have a look. Oh, hello. I've seen the word chaos and corn. And I don't mean corn like the crap band. Let's have a look and see what this is. Another brother ready to give his soul to the God Emperor and to help the never-ending forces of the contrivance to victory over the tyranny of evil and chaos. <gasps> he sent me things from the army. Oh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh, 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 oh there's something in that. Oh, right. Okay. There's something in that one. Oh, they're individually packed. Oh, bless them. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a round thing. 
Ooh, there's loads. There's a big thing. There's a flap thing. Ooh, let me see what these could be. Let's have a look. Oh, the metal. <gasps> what on earth is that? Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. Let me just put that there. I'm gonna have to investigate what this that is. We have, these are metal, these must be old, dude. Oh, oh, hello. We have, oh, I know what this might be. That's a, is that a dreadnought? Oh my life. I won't try and put it together now. That looks like the bottom of a dreadnought. What have you sent me, dude? It's a dreadnought, but it's a metal dreadnought. Oh my goodness. This thing weighs a ton. at that wow I'm speechless on this one oh, that's gorgeous Do -do -do. oh big massive oh you sent me a dreadnought you star oh that is fantastic I'm gonna have fun putting that together I've got some metal um cassockins they're the only metal figures I've got at the moment, but now I've got big ass dreadnought as well, which I'm going to enjoy putting together. I'm not going to put it together now because you don't want to sit here while I try and figure out how to put this together. That is beautiful, dude. That's all off camera, dude. Thank you so much. That is fantastic. He will do well in the forces of the holy contrivance. I'll put that in there for now. That really is heavy, actually. <laughs> Probably half the weight of that entire parcel. Oh, thank you very much. That is beautiful. Just put these there. Looks like you've already stripped them anyway, so I don't need to strip anything. Cool, let me straighten that bit out. But I'll do that when I'm actually paying attention. Thank you. I'll just put that lid on there just to be safe. Oh, the unending forces of the holy contrivance are growing daily. What else do we have now? We have two more. Th well, we have many more things. There's two more things he sent, which are for the wheel of giveaways. Now, let me just check his note because he said. Uh, uh, an unusual kit for your wheel of giveaways. Now he's put, it looks like he's put two kits in here. So, let's have a look and see what he sent. First of all, he has sent Stegosaurus. Yes, I love Stegosaurus. He sent me a Tamiya Stegosaurus, which is not a stegosaurus it is oh <laughs> i see what you did there oh i like that oh i like that gundam astray blue frame d and it's just got all the oh you've oh what have you sent me man oh dude that is incredible that is awesome you've said that's that explains why i've got the the master grade stand you've sent me a whole master grade oh dude that is fantastic it's got a, oh so i'm gonna need to take all that apart and paint it that's gonna be kick-ass dude dude seriously thank you so much look at that i'm gonna enjoy building building that oh dude thank you so much i can't thank you enough for that that's gonna be a good a good painting project with no denubbing to do fantastic I don't mind that it's not a stegosaurus. I got a bit excited for the stegosaurus then. I'm like, oh, dinosaurs. But no, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about that. Dude, thank you so much for that. That is beautiful. That will get painted up. But he's also sent that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume this is what's in the box, but I'll check for you. He's also sent this, which I think is the giveaway prize for the wheel of giveaways. It's a Zoid, it's a Godos Zoids. Even I know what Godos is. He sent this as a giveaway prize. I'll just double check that's what's in the box. These aren't cheap. Both of those kits aren't. Oh, yeah. Wow. So we sent the Godos kit. Godos, Godos is just big. Wow. So, folks, this is going to be a Wheel of Giveaways prize. That is incredible. I can't be believe you sent that. Dude, that is awesome. That is fantastic. Everybody say thank you to Simon. Holy cow, that is fantastic. So that's gonna go into the Wheel of Giveaways pool. Uh, if you don't know what the Wheel of Giveaways is, if you're not sure what the hell I'm talking about, 
every Sunday at 3 p.m. at BST, I do a Warhammer live stream, which is, you don't have to like Warhammer, it's just me working at the bench and talking to people in chat for three or four hours. We just hang out, it just, just so happens that I'm working on my Warhammer army. But we do giveaways each week, um, and this will be one of the prizes. So do come along this Sunday and see if this is the one that gets picked as the giveaway. Dude, awesome, but that's not everything. But wait, there's more. I'm going to have to pause this recording, I'm going to run out of space on the phone, so let me pause it and we'll do the next bit. Right, onto the last few bits. You know what this is going to be, you know what this is going to be. You know what these are, if I can get them all up. Oh. It's an Irish care package. Of course there's going to be beer. Yes. Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got? We have Smithix Red Ale. Ooh, Red Ale. Ooh. I can't read any of that. It's far too far away. <gasps> Red Ale. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Three point in volume. Oh, 500 mil. This is a big, nice big nice hefty bottles as well goodly beer in them smithix red ale we have i'm gonna be sozzled tonight i was gonna do some work tonight i'm not now <laughs> yeah that's not happening we have some dungarvan brewing company copper coast irish red ale oh bottle conditioned irish craft beer with an emphasis on quality Tradition and craft, our range of bottle conditioned beer. I can't read that, it's in stripes. The bottle conditioned beers have a distinctive character that is both deep and satisfying. Oh, I'll, it'll go deep and I'll be satisfied. Yeah, I can agree with that. We have McGarg <laughs> McGargle's Rosie's Pale Ale. Looks like a hipster. Kildare Crafted Island. Hey, this is local to you then, isn't it? Because you posted this from the Tesco's in Kildare. Ooh. Grapefruit and apricots, honey and toast, medium body. Ooh, grapefruit and apricots, honey and toast. <gasps> Ooh, interesting. Interesting, very interesting. Rosie's Pale Ale. Oh, yes. Multi-award winning beer, only natural ingredients. Mmm. And last, but by no means least, let's see what this one is. I'm liking this care package quite a significant amount. We have, we have. I don't think I need to wonder what that means. Cute whore. If I was Scottish, cute whore. Irish pale ale. I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that means what I think it means. It might not. I, do tell me. But I like the. You're looking at me, pal. I know that's Scottish, but I, I'm not going to do an Irish accent. I'll, I'll get shouted at. Uh, where mischief flows, cute whore. I'm going to put my helmet on for this so I can read it because it probably tells me something. It says, "Come here till we tell you about." Oh, come here till we tell you about this deep golden IPA, a crafty little drink that delivers on taste and that all-important ah factor. It will cure what ails you, star star. If something actually does ail you, see a doctor. This will probably not cure it. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Oh, dude. Dude, that is awesome. That is awesome. All these all these noms and the tea for Mama Fox and the Godos as a gift and all the chocolate that I'm gonna put into my face and the decals and the beer. <gasps> There's only one thing I can say, and that's Gromila Mayhigat. I hope I got that right. Gromila Mayhigat. I probably got it completely wrong. Oh, Gromila Mayhigat. Oh, dude, I can't thank you enough. I will, yeah. The, that's my evening ruined now, in a good way, because I'm not going to get any work done. But I will probably binge watch something and eat lots of chocolate and crisps. Oh, yes. Dude, Simon, thank you so much for these. I can't thank you enough. Thank you to everybody so far who sent me loads of stuff. I'm getting so many of these packages at the minute. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, you're all sending me noms and snacks and things to put on the wheel of giveaways. I, I really am speechless at all the stuff people are sending me. It's crazy ridiculous, but it's kind of wonderful. And this is why you are the best followers in the world. I, I just, I can't, I can't 
get to grips with people sending me a list of, and I've got more stuff on the way that I know about, so it's like, oh, and not to forget, of course, a little metal dreadnought which I put over here. Not to forget him that I can have fun playing with, and not to forget because I put it over there. My uh, my gumpla, my gumpla. That's not a dinosaur, but it's a gumpla. It's even better. Oh, my blue frame ashtray, dude. I can't, I can't thank you enough. All I can say to everybody is, to all of you who sent me stuff, thank you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned, as I say, on Sunday for the Sunday live stream, 3 p.m. BST, here. <clears throat> I'll add the Godos to the list of stuff on the wheel of giveaways. Up for grabs, I think, was the potato plane, the Russian, whatever it was, Polycarpov, I couldn't remember them, the little Polycarpov. That's up for grabs, so somebody's going to win that on Sunday. Uh, all the prizes have been sent out now, so the big helicopter's on the way to the winner. Uh, and the black pot noodle cup is on the way. No, yes, yes, the black pot noodle cup is on the way to Scoob Steve. The helibopter is on the way to Evil Monkey 79. And I don't know about the green pot noodle cup yet. It's not been claimed. The, the person that won it hasn't mailed me to say these are my details. So I'm going to leave it for a while. I'll leave it for quite a while, but eventually I'm just going to put it back into the pot. If you don't claim it, it'll come back into the pot and somebody else can win it. So, but yes, so Simon. Thank you so much. To all of you out there, thank you so much for everything you sent. Do take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome. Go be awesome. I don't know why I do this with the finger now. It's probably really annoying when you see it on screen like, are you there? Go do something awesome. Go be awesome. I forgot my own wrap-up lines. Hey, until next time, adios amoebas. Beer, beer. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, bye.